everyone. Today I will present you our brand new fetal Doppler SD1 and show you how to use it. Right now I will be showing you the Bluetooth version. This two version has the similar operating process. Here we have the touch panel. Right in the middle is the power key. The volume key are by the side. Press down the power key for two seconds, the device will turn on. Press and hold the volume key will adjust the sound accordingly. Press the power key again and hold, the device will turn off. Since the button is located near each other, please make sure that you touch the right area during operation. It is possible that you will be mispressing the panel due to the limited space, so just be careful. For connecting the device, use your smartphone and scan the QR code to download SD1 app. You will be able to find this QR code on the menu, or you can also download the app from the Google Play and Apple Store. Once finished downloading, open the interface and start to enter your last period date or your estimated gestation time. For the first time user, Click Baby Monitoring to enter the activation page. Input device number and set up the linkage. Click Yes. Now you are successfully connected to your device. You will be ready for the monitoring. Once the Bluetooth has successfully paired up, it will jump back to the fetal monitoring page. Press the center beginning icon and begin monitoring. Now I will give you some hints about how to quickly locate the FHR and this is very helpful for you to during the monitoring process. Here is a picture demonstrating the growth of the abdomen during pregnancy. This will give you a better idea about what quadrant you should be looking for the baby's heart rate. Before using the probe, put a little bit of the gel on the probe head. Use a nail size will be good enough. Place the probe perpendicularly and apply a little force so it's close to the skin. Slowly move around to listen to the heartbeat. Once you have heard some continued beating sound and recognize the fetal heart rate is between 110 to 160 beats per minute, that's your little one's heart rate. But in some cases, the number may be above 160 due to early gestation, and it's also normal for some baby to have constantly have a heart rate detect over 160. When the baby is moving frequently, it may cause some interruption and the signal is lost for calculation. So if you may, you can wait for a little bit and restart your monitoring once the baby is more stable. On the app, the user will be able to instantly check for the fetal heart rate result and also record the fetal movement manually. Once you are done monitoring, press stop. The monitoring is complete and data will be safe. You may check the complete record back in the monitor record section. There is a phone center that taught you more about the growth of a baby. You will also see the antenatal care in the mother section. You will be able to check weight and other information. You may record your weight gain and make a growth chart yourself in this section. Click antenatal care. More examination instruction and some daily reference will show you if you rotate the plate instruction. More information will be provided. The guidance section tells you what kind of eating habits may be the best for you and some inside knowledge about your pregnancy. 
My diary is a smart notebook section. You may use it to write memos or providing you a checklist before you go to the hospital. Checklists may be able to provide it automatically or manually. Now you are all set and have fun with your little one. Thank you.